so what I want to do now, um, I want to go in and I want to texture this in Photoshop. I'm going to go in and play around with it in Photoshop now. A couple things I want to do. If I take this right now and I go here and I make sure that Window, Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager, I've got uh, the OBJ export is on. Okay, great. Remember that. And then when I go to here, Export Selection, if I export it out, and I'm going to put it into the data folder, and I'll call it Thomas Head. Okay, great. And I'm going to export it. Um, if I go into Photoshop, I got some pictures already set up in Photoshop here. Uh, file new, uh, and we'll make this thing one zero two four tab tab one zero two four. Enter, and. Uh, then I can bring in my model and go into your 3D new layer for 3D. Why is it not up on here? What have I done wrong? Um, <laughs> image mode, grayscale. Could that be it? Let's just go put it RGB color. There we go. Holy cow. Okay, so I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to find this thing and I will be in the C drive and school and uh, Emily Carr. There we go. And I think I put this one in here, Tomas. And if I go into the data folder, there it is right there. Great. Now when I pull this thing in, something funky happens. And let's see, we make Photoshop a bit smaller. And let's go and hide this back here someplace. And you don't want to see this? Oh, cut that out. Um, you'll see that it has all these, the UV grid and the Tomas quarter inside and all these other sh images came in with it. Okay? And I might not want that. So, you'll also notice that uh, in the data folder that I just made, suddenly it's brought them in here and it's exported them as well. And I don't typically want that. So, back here in Maya, when you go in, you go File, Export Selection, if you don't want to have to look at all that other extra crud, you can go in here and turn materials off. And I don't need anything else in here. Eh, all that other stuff doesn't matter. But I'm just going to turn the materials off. So now when I hit the export selection, actually before I do this, let's just go and zip back in here to this data folder and just delete all this stuff that I don't need. Boop. Great. Gone. Okay, now you'll see that when I go in here and I say export and I call this Tomas. Add. Great. Export. And it puts it in there. Great. I'll take a look at that folder. just got the Tomas head. <laughs> Tom's head. Anyway, whatever. Um, if I go in here and let's just get rid of this. Yeah. And if I go in here to 3D and I go new layer from 3D and I bring this in. It comes in without this extra crud on it. Okay. So that's the first thing that will make your life just maybe a bit easier. It because it'll actually bring in every texture image from your whole folder. Okay, and that you can deal with it. It's but it's just extra information that's being generated somewhere in your folder system that you don't need to worry about. Okay. So, I've got that. And let's see anything else I want to do. Uh next thing I do is I'm going to bring in the images. Um where the hell is it hidden back here? It's hidden back here. So where am I? I'm here. Okay, and I'm just going to go in here, and I'm just going to go and snag this front shot. Okay, control C, and I'm just going to get rid of that. Do I need to keep this? No, don't save it. And then I'm just going to go in here, control V, paste it on. And what the hell did I just save? I was horsing around with that other freaking image a minute ago. Let's just get rid of that. Crap! Okay, what the hell was I doing? Uh, where did I find that picture? I think it's got one in here. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, I was horsing around with this before I actually started doing all this stuff, making sure that I could make everything work. Great, and Control V. There we go, so I got that one in here. And what else do I need? I need this one here. Control C and let's go in here. Control V and then we'll just go over in here and grab this chunk of head. Yeah. 
Okay, great. And let's just get rid of these things. Okay, so we don't have to push Photoshop more than it is already. Okay, great. And now, um, let's just go in here and turn some of these off. I'm just going to go in and uh, got a little bit of a technique I've been horsing around with here. Um, first thing I might do is on the head here. Let's just bring out the uh, 3D palette thing here. I'm just going to move this over here. And you get all the lights that are kind of blue and all that crap. I've, I won't deal with that right now. Um, if I'm looking at this shader here, I just might go and say new texture. Boop. So I'm going to create myself a new one. Let's make it 2K. Okay, so we got a brand new texture for this. It's 2K. And let's see what happens. I'm just going to move this over here to the side. Want to take a look at the texture? It's big and white. Okay, great. Um, something I noticed I, I kind of like doing is uh, <clears throat> if I want to, I, when I have this open, I can go in here to 3D and I can uh, create UV overlays with a wireframe. Okay, so now I've got a wireframe of this. And so that's on this layer right here. Great. And if we go back here to this thing here, okay, great updates and now it's got the wireframe on my 3D model. Okay, which is going to make it a bit easier in a second. I'm just going to flip back over here for a moment. I also just want to put another layer on here, so I'm just going to go in and I'll make a brand new boop, empty layer. Great. And uh, let's go back over here and I've got too much stuff. Okay, let's go back over here. And I'm just going to get this three-quarter shot, and let's make the three-quarter shot kind of transparent so I can see what's going on. And, of course, I grabbed the wrong one to make transparent. Let's go and grab this again. Let's try this out. Actually, before I do this, let's just go and aim this thing a little bit. Let's first off, um, if I go and I hit the K key, okay, let's just make this thing bigger. I can maximize how much texture I'm going to get on here. And let's just go in and rotate this thing a little bit. So it's kind of matching up with that image that I have. So it's more or less something like that. Okay. And let's bring this back. And uh, I'm just going to go in and control... God damn it! Control T. I'm just going to go in here and... Let's see. I usually do something like I pick where the eye nook is right there. So I'll just go like that. And I'm going to move the center point there. And then you can kind of twist this around a little bit if you need to. I'm just going to make this thing a bit bigger. And you can hear Lenny in the background playing with her squeezy toy. Okay. And what do we got? So I'm just going to keep aiming this into here. I'm going to nudge some of these things over a little bit. Okay. I don't know how fast I want to... Let's see. Well, let's just do this. That nose will be fine, something like that. I'm just going to move his chin back a little bit. Okay, and <clears throat> probably the best way to actually do this is to actually go in and make these uh, things specific, like uh, go in and tackle the eye, then tackle the nose and the mouth, or I don't know, pick one, whichever feature you want to do. And I'm just going to slap the textures down, then I'm going to go back over this stuff over again. What do we got? 843? Okay, great. I'm just going to hit Enter, and so there it is. I'm just going to bring my opacity up. And I'm just actually going to make, quickly make a duplicate of this layer, too. And now that I've done that, um, I just want to take this thing and merge it down. And it slaps down onto my model. Great. And if I whirl around here, okay, great. If I go over and I check out my texture, whoo-hoo. Okay, it's on a separate layer. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make myself another layer here. And I'm going to zip back over here. And I'm just going to rotate this thing over this way. Okay, and I'm trying to do this so I make this under 10 minutes. Let's put this thing on. Ah, crap! Control T, uh, flip horizontal, and uh, opacity down. Come back, come back, come back, right there. And let's just kind of, I'm just going to pretend that it's good right there. Great. Enter. And then I'm just going to bring my opacity back up. And I'm going to hit Control E. And now when I check over here on this, now we've got two separate layers for each one of those things. And it's just easier to kind of erase out crap with each one of these. And I'm just going to stop this now.